Hello everyone and welcome to the class once again. We are towards the end of our course now and we are revising what we did in the 12 weeks here in the lectures. So now last time we did a kaiva through which we revised all our um, expressions. This week again through the kaiva we will do grammar. So let us see what we have today now. This is a kaiva between two people Tanaka-san and Rao-san. Listen to it carefully and note down all the grammar that we have to do, all the grammar that you can understand and then I will tell you all of it in detail later. So, Rao-san wa itsu nihon ni kimashita ka? Kyonen no sangatsu ni kimashita. Nihon de nani o shite imasu ka? Benkyo ga owatta kara ima kaisha de hataraite imasu. Yasumi no toki nani o shimasu ka? Daitai yukkuri shimasu. Demo kondo no yasumi ni yaki o mini ikitai desu. Yakiu ga suki desu ka? Dai suki desu. Demo mada yoku wakarimasen. Ja, shumatsu ni futari de yakiu o mini ikimashou. Soko de yakiu nitsuite iron na setsume o shite agemasu. Waza waza arigato gozaimashita. This was a simple kaiwa and I will do the explanation now. There are a lot of new things here. For example, you have owatta past form of the verb kara, then you have ikitai, mini is another verb form, yasumi no toki, you have done this form and we will revise this, then there is yoku, then ni tsuite and waza waza one new word. So let us see what we have here. Of course this is in your script, all of you who will be appearing for JLPT N5 will require to practice the script. So please, there is kanji for you, there is hiragana and you can practice all of it at home. So now in our kaiva, in the beginning we had owatta kara. So the verb is in past form plus kara. What does it mean? That the action is over with kara when we use verb in ta form, verb in past form, then the action has been completed, it is over. And when we use verb in te form plus kara, then it is for the future. Please keep that in mind, over here the work is over, over here the work is still not over it is for the future we are talking. For example, benkyo ga owatte kara ega o mimashou. So let us watch a film after we complete studying. And over here, benkyo ga owatta kara ega o mimashou. Benkyo is already over, we have studied and now let us see a film. And kara over here, owatta kara. So, for this action, it is already over and thus, therefore, because of this, let us perform another activity. So, kara in this form with verb gives, shows reason for the activity which is going to follow. For example, you have ima hanashi ga owatta kara kairimashou, owatta kara. Because hanashi is over, because this is over, let us do this. So that is what kara means and before kara always plain form is going to be used. Then ban gohan no tabeta kara nemashou. Now you have had your ban gohan, it is over, thus therefore because of this let us sleep. So one action is over, this action is finished and this is what we are going to do. Then we had hataraite imas. you have done the te imas form of the verb, verb in te form plus imas, 
shows continuous action, action in progress, activity is still happening, activity happens over a period of time. So, verb plus the form of the verb plus imas. Without the imas, it has no meaning. So, please keep that in mind and I have told you that for group 2, remove the ru and put te. For example, taberu tabe te. This is how you would make the te form for group 2. Now, for group 1, you have te form for exceptions that also I have told you. So, it is ide, nde, ite, shite and te, double t sound. So, these are the te forms for group 1 verbs. For example, oyoide, yonde, kaite, hanashite, matte. So, that is how you will do your te form for group 1. For group 3, it is shite and kite, kite for kuru and suru verbs. Is it all right for kuru and suru? You can see the examples now. Watashi wa ima oshiete imas. What am I doing now? I am teaching. So, I am in this action over here of teaching. Watashi wa ima oshiete imas. This is a group 2 verb. Oshie ru. Then we have kodomo tachi wa ima asonde imas. So, you saw just now this is a group 1 verb. Aso bu, the bu is an exception. It is a verb which comes in the exceptions category and you can see I did nde over here. So, asonde imas. Other verbs in this nde form will be yomu, yomu, yonde imas. This is a group 1 verb in the exceptions category. So, te imas form which is continuous action. I am sure you are comfortable now. Make some more sentences on your own and you will feel more comfortable. Then we have no toki. Now, what does no toki mean? There was a sentence in our kaiva. As you can see over here, no toki will follow a noun meaning at that time. So, gakusei no toki, when I was a student, kodomo no toki, when I was a child, shiken no toki, when I was writing the shiken, no toki, at that time. So, always noun is going to come before toki. You can see the um, examples here. Kodomo no toki watashi wa yoku manga wo yomimashita. Now, kodomo no toki. What does it mean? When I was a child, watashi wa I read a lot of manga. Manga is your comics and yoku means lots. Yoku is an adverb which shows quantity or degree of something, of an activity. So, yoku cannot be measured, yoku can only be felt, it cannot be measured like taksan. Taksan when you say which also means lots, taksan also means lots, but with taksan you can measure the thing, you can see the thing physically, but with yoku you cannot see the thing. You can only imagine it is a degree. So, even though it means lots, it is degree of something. So, kodomo no toki watashi wa yoku manga wo yomimashita. Lots manga wo yomimashita. 
degree can be different for different people. Now, daigaku no toki yoku eiga o mimashita. I saw a lot of movies when I was in the daigaku, in the university. As a gakusei, I saw a lot of eiga. Again, lots can be any amount. So, it is degree or quantity. Please keep that in mind. We will practice yoku later also as well. Then we had daitai. Daitai generally means generally speaking, most of the time, mostly. So, watashi wa daitai rokuji ni okimasu, approximately. Daitai. Over here in this case, it is approximately, daitai, around that time, about that time. It could be plus minus 5 minutes. Daitai rokuji ni okimasu. Sometimes maybe it is 6, 5, sometimes it is 5 minutes before 6. Tanaka san wa daitai, generally speaking, most of the time, hitori de alone. Hiru gohan o tabe mas. Tanaka san wa daitai or daitai tanaka san wa can also be used. Daitai can come here also. Daitai tanaka san wa hitori de hiru gohan o tabe mas. Generally speaking, most of the time, mostly, approximately can also be used. Then we had yukkuri. Now, yukkuri means slowly at ease, at leisure. So, the example you have over here is of slowly, sumimasen, yoku wa karanai kara, you again get yoku over here, I do not understand a lot, yoku wa karanai kara, because I do not understand a lot, yukkuri hanash te kudasai, te kudasai, form again, please. Verb in te form, yukkuri. Yukkuri means slowly. Please talk slowly. Sumimasen. Yoku wa karanai kara, yukkuri hanashite kudasai. So, this is a request. And also, it is a polite order using please. In this form, we do not ask the person. We just simply request the person to do as the speaker is saying. So, te kudasai, even though it looks like a request, it is almost an order. It is a polite order, polite request we could say. Sumimasen, yoku, wakaranai kara, because I do not know, yukkuri hanashite kudasai. All the forms we are practicing over here again and again for you, so that you understand and you know how to use them in sentences during conversation. Sumimasen, yukkuri oshiete kudasai. So, somebody is probably explaining and explaining very, very quickly and the person who is listening or has asked for explanation cannot follow. So, he makes a polite request and says, Yukkuri, please slowly, gradually, oshiete kudasai, please explain slowly. Again, the te kudasai form is over here, verb in te form plus kudasai, a request. Is it all right? I hope you understand this te kudasai, te imas, yukkuri, kara, yoku, all these. So, over here you can give reason also for this request, sumimasen. Yoku wa karanai kara, yoku kikoenai kara, I cannot hear very clearly, so yukkuri oshiete kudasai. Now, there was demo, we have done demo in very simple sentences, it shows contrast. Watashi wa kohi wo nomimasu, demo kocha wo nomimasen. So, over here it is joining two sentences or two thoughts, but you will notice 
one thing with demo, even though it is a conjunction, it is a joining particle, it starts a sentence. You finish a sentence over here and then with demo, you start a sentence, you begin a sentence and then you complete what you are saying. Watashi wa kohi wo nomimasu. I have coffee, but kocha wo nomimasen. So, in this form, this is positive and this is negative. It shows contrast. I do a certain thing and I do not do a certain thing by this conjunction, by this joining particle, demo, which in English translates to but. Is it all right? So, you can make a lot of sentences like this. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu. Demo, fransu go ga suki dewa arimasen. Watashi wa kyo rokuji ni okimashita. Demo, ashita shichiji ni okimasu. Watashi wa eiga o mimasu. Demo, dorama o mimasen. So, you can see over here again, this is positive and this is in negative. Watashi wa eiga o mimasu, I watch films, but dorama o mimasen. So, another thing you will notice over here that you have to compare similar things. Please remember not one thing from here and one thing from somewhere absolutely different without any connection. So, always in such sentences, the things that you are comparing or the things that you are talking about by using demo showing contrast need to be similar. Now, we had kondo. Kondo means this time, next time, the coming time. So, kondo no nichi yobi ni sensei ni ai ni ikimasen ka. Kondo no nichi yobi ni. Kondo no nichi yobi is the coming Sunday. Nichi yobi Ni. ni over here is for nichiyobi for day and sensei ni ai. So, for ai mas this ni is there and ai ni ikimas is another form which shows purpose. Is it all right? This shows your purpose of going somewhere. The ni over here is for ai mas and the ni over here is for day. So, please see this very carefully. There are three particle ni used over here. This ni is with ai ni ikimasu for the purpose of. So, verb in mas form, remove the mas, put ni and iku. So, for the purpose of this activity, I am going somewhere. So, with kondo, you have this particle ni and of course, this form ai ni which shows purpose. Kono aida. Kono aida has nothing to do with kondo. Kono aida means something that has already happened, something is in the past, something that happened in the past. Please keep that in mind and kondo means next time or the coming time. Now, we just did this in our previous slide, mini. So, verb plus ni and how to make? I told you verb in mas form, remove the mas, put ni and iku. Now, over here, this shows purpose indicates movement in a direction for a certain purpose. Now, you can see the examples over here. Kaimono wo shini departo e ikimasu. Verb plus ni. Kaimono wo shini. For the purpose of doing kaimono. Kaimono is shopping. Departo e ikimasu. Now, nihongo o benki wo shini gakko e ikimasu. Nihongo o benkyo shini for the purpose of benkyo of what? Nihongo gakko e ikimasu. So, now here you will see one thing that the verb always is 
iku and this is verb plus ni. You can also have noun plus ni as we did in the previous slide sensei ni ai ni ikimasu or kaimono. We have shini over here we can say kaimono ni ikimasu. So, you can also use it with nouns with verb it is verb plus ni iku with noun it is just ni plus iku. Now we have tameni. Tameni also shows purpose as you can see over here, but what is the difference between tameni and verb plus ni? What is the difference? Just now I told you in the previous slide that with verb plus ni we have iku and if we want to use another verb then what do we do? Because this form will only take the verb iku. So, now with tameni we can easily use other verbs and show purpose. How is that done? Nihongo o hanasu tameni for the purpose of speaking Japanese benkyo o shite imasu. I am studying Japanese. So, now tameni will take plain verb form of verb. Please remember this always whenever you are using tameni then the verb will be in plain form and you can use any other verb besides ikimasu. There is another example for you. Nihonjin to hanasu tameni nihongo o naraitai desu. Nihonjin to hanasu tameni for the purpose of talking speaking nihongo o naraitai desu i want to learn you have another one nihon e iku tame ni nihongo o benkyo shite imasu so over here again you will see Iku is there in plain form. Nihon e iku tame ni for the purpose of going to Japan. Nihongo o benkyo shite imasu. You can also add ima over here. Ima nihongo o benkyo shite imasu. So I am sure that your verb plus ni iku and tame ni is very, very clear. Now we had another form in the kaiwa which was tai form. Now, tai shows you want to do a certain activity, always that activity you want to do. So, watashi wa nihongo o naraitai, I want to learn, want to learn that is do this activity. Again, how to make this form? It is very, very simple. You have the mass form naraimas remove the mas and put tai and the negative is narai taku nai as you would do for adjectives narai taku nai narai tai remove the i over here and put kunai for example you have yomi tai watashi wa Shimbun o yomi ta ku nai. So, this is how you will make it. Then, watashi wa rainen nihon e ikitai desu. Nihon e ikitai desu. So, ikimasu, ikitai, and ikitaku nai. I do not want to go. So, you can do it like this and practice Thai form. It is very simple, something you want to do. And now we have Hoshi, which also shows that you want something, but the difference between 
Hoshi and Tai is Tai form is want to do as we did just now and Hoshi is want something generally which is a noun. It could be a person, it could be a thing and Hoshi will take particle ga, noun ga Hoshi des. Watashi wa kuruma ga Hoshi des. Now, you can see the example, watashi wa ningyo ga Hoshi des. I want a doll. So, it is I, first person. Watashi wa ningyo ga Hoshi des. Watashi wa kuruma ga Hoshi des. Because I can only tell about myself, what I want. Now, when I want to ask somebody, what do you want? So, then it can be in question form. So, second person because I do not know what the person wants, I can only ask and inquire. So, Mira Sanva Ning Yoga Hoshi Des Ka. So, you can ask a question in this form and the person could say Watashiva Ning Yoga Hoshi Des because the person would know what he wants. Now, you have something here which is Hoshigatte imas. Now, what is Hoshigatte imas? Hoshigatte imas means third person wants something. You know or you have knowledge or the person has told you and thus you know that he wants a certain thing. So, how will you say that? Mira sanva ningyo o hoshigatte imas. It comes in te form te imas. Hoshigaru is the verb. Hoshigaru. And the particle used is going to be o. So, for third person, if somebody else, probably Tanaka san, wants something and I know of it, then hoshigatte Imas. Please remember third person is always Hoshigatte Imas. First person is Hoshi des. Second person you can ask a question and third person Hoshigatte Imas. You can see over here third person wants something noun o Hoshigatte Imas. Mariko san wa tokei o Hoshigatte Imas. She wants a tokei a watch. Now, there was something else also over there, suki. Suki means like. What is the kanji for suki? It is very simple, onna no hito and kodomo, suki. What is the particle that is going to come with suki? It is ga, particle ga. Why? Because you are stating something, you know for sure that you want this. So, watashi wa ice cream ga suki desu. Watashi wa okaasan ga suki desu. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu. So, ga will come before suki, before daisuki or before kirai. Kirai means I do not like. Opposite of suki is kirai. So, all will take particle ga. We have done this earlier. Mada, not yet. Then shava mada des. Then shava mada des. It has not come as yet. Rao san wa mada des. Kaigi owarimashita ka? Iie mada des. Sensei class ni kimashita ka? Iie mada des. So, not yet. Yet to come. Then yoku we did just now. It shows degree. For example, you can see over here. Yoku tabemashita. I have had lots to eat. Yoku manga o yomimashita. Gakkou no toki, gakusei no toki, daigaku no toki, yoku manga o yomimashita. Kodomo no toki, yoku manga o yomimashita. 
And then, Yokunot sky kata oshiete kudasai. Please tell me how to use yoku. So, you will see now that yoku generally comes before a verb. It can be used in the beginning also of a sentence, but generally comes before a verb. Yoku tabemashita, yoku mimashita, yoku benkyo shimashita, yoku hatarakimashita. So, always before a verb. It shows degree of whatever the verb is saying. Now, there was another thing, ni tsuite, noun ni tsuite, regarding the noun, pertaining to the noun, about the noun, ni tsuite, about, pertaining to, regarding someone or something as is given over here. You can see from the example, nihon ni tsuite hanashimasu, I will talk about Japan. So, it is noun ni tsuite, it is always noun ni tsuite, please remember that. Nihon ni tsuite, okasan ni tsuite hanashimasu, gakko ni tsuite hanashimasu, nihongo ni tsuite hanashimasu. So, please remember noun ni tsuite about pertaining to. Hanami ni tsuite hanashite kudasai, a request that please talk about hanami. Now, you have done this agemas, when you give something to someone, when I give something to someone, it is ageru, when I get something from someone, it is morau, when I give something to someone who is senior to me, then sashi ageru and when I receive, I receive something from someone, then it is ita daku. Okay. Now, over here it is in te agemas form, verb plus te ageru. What does this mean? Te agemas means this form yatte ageru, yatte ageru, hanashite ageru, hana. Shite ageru. I will do as the verb is saying and give it to you, is the literal translation, but it means that I will do it for you, do it for you. That is what it means. So, well, we have tegami o kaite agemasu. I will write the tegami and give it to you or I will write the tegami for you. Wakaranai kara oshiete agemasu, as it was there in the kaiwa that you do not know about yakyu, I will tell you over there or I will tell you about baseball during the match. So, wakaranai kara you do not understand thus, thus therefore, oshiete agemasu, I will tell you. So, this is what it means. Te Agemas. We have morau also later. So, for the time being, here te agemas. I will do a certain activity for you and give it to you. Generally, when you say agemas, it is I give it to you. Is it all right? Here, someone else is telling you that I will do it and give it to you. Te Agemas, yatte agemas, hanashte agemas, kaite agemas. Someone will do it for you and give it to you. There was this word te ageru, we just did in the previous slide. Agemas, moraimas, sashi agemas, and itadakimas. It is all about I. All the time. I am doing and I am receiving. Now, we did a word over here, vaza, 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 vaza means specially, specially for me it is very, very polite, 
especially you are doing this for me, I am very, very grateful is what it means. Vaza vaza is very, very polite. Then now you have some questions here. You have heard the kaiva. You can listen to it once again and answer these questions here. Meanings of words are given over here. You can go over the meanings and do the questions. So now I have some more revision for you, but this time there is no kaiva. There are a few pictures. We have done this earlier. You can see the pictures and try to tell me what it is. Okay, this person is washing and he says, Sentaki no tsukai kata wakarimasen. Kantan desu yo. Yatte mite kudasai. Tsukai kata. There was tsukai kata in our conversation. What does it mean? Verb plus kata. Way of doing a certain thing, way of performing a certain activity. Sentaki no tsukai kata. I do not know how to use the machine. Tsukaimas. Tsukaimas. Tsukaimas is to use tsukai kata. Method of using, way of using. How to use the sentaki that is the washing machine? I do not know. So, B san says, kantan desu yo, it is not so difficult. Yatte mite kudasai. Te mite kudasai. Now you have done te mimas, tabete mimas, verb in te form plus mimas. I will see or itte mimas, I will go and see. Tabete mite kudasai, verb in te form plus verb again in te form which is mite and kudasai, meaning please do and see what it is. Tabete mite kudasai, itte mite kudasai, yatte mite kudasai, hanashite mite kudasai. Nihongo wa muzukashii kedo, nihonjin no mai de hanashite mite kudasai. Please talk and see, daijobu desu yo, shinpai shinai de kudasai. Then there is another picture for you. They have, sensei has written some kanji. Kanji wa muzukashi desu. Kakemasen. I cannot write. Daijobu desu yo. Minasan. Noto ni kaite kudasai. Please write. Or noto ni kaite mite kudasai. Please write and see in your notebook. Kanji no tsukai kata. For example, Kanji no kakikata. Sensei, sumimasen. Kanji no kakikata wakarimasen. Muzukashii desu. Daijobu desu yo. Kaite mite kudasai. Kaite mite kudasai. Or, Kantan desu yo, daijobu desu yo, ikkai kaite kudasai, ikkai kaite mite kudasai. So, any of these could be used. Tsukai kata, way of, method of, way of, method of doing a certain activity. Now over here from this example, sumimasen, kanji no tsukai kata, oshiete kudasai, kanji no kaki kata, oshiete kudasai. Please tell me how to use or how to write. You can see the uh, picture over here again. Kentaku no warai kata wa omoshiroi desu, warai kata. Verb warau. How it is made? Warai mas. 
かきます。すかいます。Remove the mask from here and put かた。わらいかた、かきかた、つかいかた。けんたくのわらいかたはおもしろいです。The way he laughs is very, very interesting. Then we have somebody cooking over here. Watashi ni to me. To over here, the meaning is to. Watashi ni nabe ryori no tsukai kata o shiete kudasai. Please tell me nabe ryori. Nabe is pan. This is very, very famous way of making something in Japanese. Nabe ryori, it's cuisine in itself, a special type of cuisine. Which、uh, the Japanese love. This is cooked on the table and everybody enjoys it while it is getting cooked. Watashi ni nabe ryori no tsukuri kata o oshiete kudasai. So please tell me how to make nabe ryori. Then we have some more. So we have sensei and students over here. And what are students supposed to do? Mainichi benkyo shi na kereba narimasen. So, shi na kereba narimasen. This means must, and you already know that even though it is in the negative, the meaning is in positive. And there is only this shi na kereba narimasen form, there is nothing else shi na kereba narimas. There is only this single form shi na kereba narimasen. Masen, Ika na kereba nari masen, Yara na kereba nari masen,、uh, Noma na kereba nari masen. So there is only this na kereba nari masen form with verb. So verb plus na kereba nari masen. Only this form is there in the negative, but it means must. You have to do it, you must do it, you should do it. It's compulsory. Mainichi gakko e ikana kereba narimasen. Mainichi kaisha e ikana kereba narimasen. Mainichi hataraka na kereba narimasen. So it is always in the negative, but meaning is positive. There's another one for you. What does okasan do? Okasan wa mainichi gohan o tsukurana kereba narimasen. Okasan wa mainichi. Watashi tachi no tame ni gohan o tsukura na kereba nari masen. She has to make every day for us. So, tame ni can also be used over here. So, this is how you will use na kereba nari masen. There is another kaiwa for you today. You can revise some more. I will just read the kaiwa for you. Listen to it carefully. And then there are some questions at the back. You can do the questions at home later. Bob to Rao san no kaiwa des. Bob san wa indo de dono gurai nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka? Indo de nishukan gurai tomodachi no otou san ni oshiete moraimashita. Sore kara ima gakko de nikagetsu ni natte imasu. Honto desu ka? Jozu desu ne. Hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka? いいえ、これから自分で勉強するつもりです。だから、いい本が欲しいです。そうですか。私はとてもいい本があるから、貸してあげますよ。頑張ってくださいね。So this was a kaiwa between two people again. Rao san is learning Japanese and、uh, he has done some Japanese earlier and Bob san is inquiring about that. Then Rao san is looking for a good book, and Bob says, Okay, I have this good book at home, I will give it to you. So, this is the gist of the kaiwa. We have dono gurai over here. Rao san wa indo de dono gurai nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka? Dono gurai. Approximately, approximately how long? Dono gurai nihongo o Benkyo shimashita ka. Gurai is approximate time or amount. 
Rao says Indo the Nishukan Gurai approximately Nishukan Gurai for two weeks. Tomodachi no Oto san ni Oshiete Morai Mashta. So, Murai Mashta we did in the previous uh, um, Kaiva. Agemas and Muraimas. What are the particles that are going to be used with Agemas and Muraimas? Watashi wa tomodachi ni agemas. Watashi wa tomodachi ni moraimas. And if you feel that ni is a little difficult to remember, for moraimas, when you are receiving something, you can use kara also. Tomodachi kara morai mashita. Tomodachi no otosan ni oshiete morai mashita. Sore kara. This is also a joining particle means and and you can see starts a sentence. So, sore kara ima gakko de ni kagetsu ni natte imas. Sore kara and the same thought is continuing of learning Japanese. Sore kara ima gakko de. Now, it has been almost two months since I have been learning Japanese. Ni again for time. Getsu. Time. Honto desu ka? Really? Is that so? Jozu desu ne. You are very, very good. Jozu means good, skilled at something. Honto means really. Is that so? Are you telling the truth? Okay. Hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka? Ya is similar to to, which is and. With to, you have to list everything as I told you earlier. A to, B to, C to, D to, all the things you have to list that are present. But with ya, you can pick up only a few and the listener automatically knows that these are the two important things besides other things. Other things are also there, but the most important two things have been taken and are mentioned and mo over here means also. So, hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka and of course, we know that kanji is also there, but the person has just said for hiragana and katakana. Iye kore kara from now, kore kara jibun de benkyo suru tsumori desu. I plan to do, I plan to do benkyo on my own. Da kara for this reason, ihon ga hoshi desu. We just now did hoshi, which is want. So, ihon ga noun ga hoshi desu. So, desu ka? Watashi wa totemo ihon ga aru kara. Kara will take plain verb, as I have told you earlier. Plain verb. Kashite agemas. I will lend it to you. Now, see we did agemas earlier. Te agemas. I will do this and give it to you. So, gambatte kudasai. And you have yo over here, which shows that Bob and Rao are very, very informal. They are probably together at the university and they are friends. So, agemas yo is used. Yo is a very informal particle a sentence ending particle and gambatte kudasai is work very very hard. So, this is another kaiva. There are a lot of things we did. Now, we did suki, kirai. Now, in this lesson we have jozu and heta. Heta is not there, but heta is opposite of Jozu, Jozu means skilled and Heta is not skilled, Suki is like and Kirai is dislike or not like. So, all these will always take particle ga. Uta ga Jozu desu ne, Uta ga Kirai desu ne, Uta ga Suki desu ne, Uta ga Heta desu ne. You are not good at singing, you are good at singing, you are not good at singing you do not like or you like. So, all these 
for will always take particle ga. Please remember that. And you have the meanings from the kaiva. You can go over the meanings. These are the questions. Go over the questions. And with that, most of your uh, revision is over. Whatever is left, we will cover that part of the revision in your uh, um, kanji class, which is going to follow now. The next two classes are on kanji, dedicated to kanji, and we will do kanji, what kanji is, and uh, what is the origin of kanji. And if something you want to know, you can talk on the forum and tell us, and we can revise that. So, do this at home, practice all of it and we will meet again soon. Thank you very much.